Hey third graders, it's Mrs. Compton again, and today I thought we'd start a year in review. Can you believe we're almost done with third grade? Maybe you can because we've been in quarantine, um, but at least the beaches are open. Thank goodness. Okay, so I've been in lots and lots of your classrooms before, and I thought maybe we could do a little game called Flash. Now, we've played this, if I've been in your class classroom, chances are we've played this before, or if I was in your second grade classroom, we probably played it. Okay, so what this is, is I'm gonna show you a picture, but only for a flash. And you're gonna have to tell me how many images you see. Um, so it's kind of a game of strategy, right? So you have to think about, hmm, how many count those real fast when she doesn't give me enough time to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Right, okay, so here we go. How many dots are there? There's gonna be some blue dots. I'm gonna give you a sneak peek. Okay, so you're gonna see some dots. That's not all the dots there are. Okay, so here you go, get your blanks out. Blink your eyes, ready? How many dots do you see? Okay, I'm gonna show you again. All right, how many dots did you see? Now, I would love for you to tell me how many you think there are, and then we're gonna see if you can prove it. All right, so let's check it out. I wish you were here and I could hear your suggestions on how you knew how many dots there were, but I'm gonna take some guesses. So I'm gonna guess that some of you probably said 15, I'm gonna guess some of you said 18, and maybe some of you even said 21. All right, so I'm gonna show you now the dots. All right, so here we go. Maybe some of you realized that there was a row of one, two, three, four, five, and you thought, okay, well, I know I could cut that off right there, and that would be five times three, and then that would just be one more. So maybe you did a five times three plus a one times three. So five groups of three plus one group of three, that would be looking at it like this, right? So 15 plus three is 18. Ooh, that's a little sloppy. Gotta work on my summer skills handwriting or printing even, Jays. Okay, so maybe you knew that there were 18 dots and you looked at it like that. Um, I'm gonna take more guesses. Can you please tell me at the end if I got your strategy? Um, let's see, I'm gonna guess maybe some of you split this little guy into almost like a doubles fact. So maybe you were like, well, that side's the same as that side and this is a three by three. And so that's also a three by three. So three times three is nine. So that side's nine and nine plus nine is 18. Maybe did that, do that. Okay, I have more guesses. Did I get it right? Have I gotten it yet? Okay, so maybe by accident I have this giant section there. Whoops. That was just my skills with the iPad. User error. So maybe you said that this was a two, uh, two rows here and that was one row there. And maybe you counted one, two, three, four, five, six real quick there. So maybe you did uh, one times six. plus two times six. So one times six is six plus 12 still makes 18. Did I get one of your strategies? Tell me in the comments. Okay, I have another one for you. Are you ready? Oh, it's gotta be fast though. Cause this game is literally called Flash. Brought to you by Mrs. Sokol, because Mrs. Sokol named it Flash. Hi, Mrs. Sokol at Meadows. She's a third grade teacher there. I was calling it Quick Image, which was way more boring than Flash. All right, here you go. Ready? Okay. So this time... I'm gonna guess that maybe some of you said 24. Maybe you said 32. Maybe you said 20. I don't know, let's find out. Are you ready to see? Here we go. There it is, there it is. 
So maybe you noticed that this is a six by four. So maybe you just said, well, I know six times four is 24. Oops, six times four is 24. So maybe you knew that there were going to be 24 dots, or maybe you split the six into a three and a three, and you did four times three plus four times three, and you probably know that four times three is 12. So that would give us 24, because 12 plus 12 does make 24. Okay, or let's see, I'm taking more guesses here. Ooh, how about the friendly five? Friendly five. Oh, I know, I, I'm a terrible singer, I'm sorry, you guys. Okay, so maybe you split it into five and one, and you know five times four, right? Because five, 10, 15, 20. So that would be 20, and that would be four. Woo! Man, so you guys, all year long, we've been thinking about things like this, right? Solving mentally, using strategies, looking at pictures, looking at egg cartons, finding arrays literally everywhere, right? So today I have a little story for you. We're going to say hi to Mrs. Jordan's class at Pacific. Hi, Mrs. Jordan's class. I put Mrs. Jordan in this story problem here. So I want to see how you would solve this. So Mrs. Jordan buys a tray of apples for a party. Are you having parties in quarantine? I see you, I see you. Ooh. There are five rows of four red apples. All right, so everybody imagine there's five ro uh, rows of four red apples and there is one row of four green apples. All right, kids, so first off, I didn't include a problem here, right? Something to solve. I want you to tell me how many apples there are and how you would solve this. All right, guys, get to solving. See you next time.